Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video today from the lovely city of Jerusalem on a Thursday. So it is officially the uh, final day of the work week here in Israel. I know I mentioned the weird Israeli work week on like a bunch of videos and people are probably like, we get it already, we've got a weird work week. Uh, but uh, Thursday is the last day of the work week in Israel, Sunday through Thursday. So this is the equivalent of a Friday. So we don't have TGIF here. I guess we, sh we should call it TGIT. Uh, but uh, like uh, pretty much all of humanity, I'm uh, always happy to be uh, having the weekend arriving very imminently. So today I wanted to just uh, talk about a little website that I came across today. I think I saw it on Twitter, although I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a nice little utility for folks who are tired of the, uh, the, the bullshit uh, some of the bullshit, some of the BS being put out there regarding Israel and those who are pro-Israel advocates but who don't have a ton of time uh, to go through the rebuttals to the BS. I did, just speaking about longer rebuttals before we take a look at this website, um, Natasha Hostdorf, I hope that's how you pronounce her surname, is terrific. And uh, I put, I will recommend, I'll put a link to the description. She's done a brilliant video on the law of proportionality in armed conflict because so many people are misquoting the law uh, to demonize Israel and just saying that proportionality is about a body count. Like how many died? If too many people died, that's not proportionate and it does not work like that. Uh, so she does a, she has a terrific, she's an international lawyer um, and she does terrific, she's put out terrific material debunking this uh, false conception of uh, proportionality. So let's take a look today at israelfaqs.com. I think this is relatively new. Um, and uh, I had no idea who's behind this. Uh, I imagine it's a volunteer effort. But they're trying to put together a little encyclopedia for, as I said, debunking BS. So I just popped into... Uh, I was just trying to think, what is what are the lies that people are spreading about Israel at the moment, right? And I would say, firstly, mostly in Ireland, I would say, I mean, you know, I'm monitoring Ireland pretty carefully as a Irish, a Irish born Jew, so it's of interest to me. Uh, the Irish have been crazy about this genocide line, like since the very start of the war, uh, the war, and even the less virulently anti-Israel people are banging on day and night about it being a genocide. I'm going to give my debunking to the genocide thing just before we look at what they have to say about it. Like, if you look at the Palestinian population of Gaza, it's growing. Well, that's number one. But the much easier takedown of that genocide lie is that Israel is a uh, has a massive military and probably has, okay, let's say, let's be realistic here, certainly has nuclear capability and if it wanted to just commit a genocide, the war would be over in an hour. Israel would just use its m massive armed force and just, you know, carpet bomb, as people are accu falsely accusing it of doing, the Gaza Strip and just kill everyone. If Israel was doing ethnic cleansing in Gaza, it would do the exact same thing. So neither of those have any substance to them. But let's nevertheless take a look at what they have to say here on Israel FAQ. Um, is Israel committing a genocide? Short answer, Israel does not commit genocide as it does not indiscriminately fire or specifically target civilians. That, I, I would say that's kind of obvious. Why, if Israel was committing a genocide, why would it be distributing leaflets to tell people to evacuate areas it's targeting? It would just, because if you're trying to, a, a genocide, trying to uh, erase a people, it would just not do that. Like, that would not make any sense. If Israel was trying to, to commit a genocide, it would not be warning people, period, full stop. Uh, but the long answer is, uh, it is a fact that Israel is not committing a genocide of the Palestinians. The population of Palestinians increased by some 500% since the founding of Israel in 1948. It is a common lie used to vilify Israel and dehumanize Jews. And uh, we see a lot of that really ugly, you're talking about dehumanizing Jews, we do see that genocide. Uh, my uh, pet, pet peeve, can I call a person a pet peeve? Or is, is, is he like my top enemy, Richard Boyd Barrett, the, the, the notorious and noxious RBB? Uh, people like him on the far left have been, you know, that's a, the genocide is, is where they bring in the, uh, their, their, the noxious Nazi comparison to say, well, the Jews were 
um, you know, uh, targeted a Nazi Germany in genocide. And look, now they're doing a genocide back to the Palestinians. So, uh, yeah, and that uh, as uh, the IHRA definition, which I have mentioned a bunch of times I support, affirms that comparisons between uh, the conduct of the state of Israel and Nazi Germany is uh, with a is is anti-Semitic or a manifestation of anti-Semitism. By the way, on this website, I've just seen you can request an answer. I'm just going to see what happens if I click on this button. So if you hear some... Uh, I'm always looking around the camera because I have my webcam like in the center of my screen. I'm not fancy enough to have a, a better setup than that. Uh, so I'm just looking for what else. All right, let's go for another one. Uh, is Zionism a form of colonialism? Is Israel committing war crimes? Do Israelis generally hate the Palestinians? Okay, let's do apartheid, war crimes. Let's type in... By the way, this is unprepared. I haven't actually seen... They may not have an answer on this. Uh, no. All right, so I'll suggest they do ethnic cleansing. But basically, but just to give my own take on it, as I said before, it's uh, ridiculous uh, to say Israel is ethnically cleansing the Palestinians because... Again, for that reason, it could do so through very easy means and their population is growing and uh, it doesn't make sense. See, the the argument that Israel is this amazing military superpower, right, which the pro-Palestinians will say, oh, Israel is the big baddie, they've got a huge army. And then they'll say, but you're ethnically cleansing. And we're like, no, the fact we have a bad, have a big bad army is kind of indicative of the fact that we're not ethnically cleansing because we could use that big, big army you talk about to do the ethnic cleansing. That's not happening. Alrighty. Uh, let's go to... Bah, 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 bah. Is Israel a form of colonialism? I always struggle to say that word. Colonialism. Alright. Short answer. Zionism is the exact opposite of colonialism. It is the return of all Jews to their ancestral land where Jews have resided for thousands of years under foreign occupation, including the occupation by Arabs. So they don't have a long answer yet on this. Uh, it's a cool little website, author Ali Kleiman. Uh, fair enough. Look, Jews come from uh, the ancient land of Israel. They've returned there. Uh, so this myth that there was some kind of ancient Palestinian civilization slash state that Jews came in and disrupted being nasty Jews and whatever is bogus uh so more 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 bogus so it's not colonialism and again in in the uh, context i'm very familiar with in ireland right people say well the british were colonizing ireland and uh it's like the same thing and it's not the same thing at all uh i did a video about why the parallel is bad but the british never had a uh, we're not are not native to the territory of Ireland, and that's just where the difference lies. Simple as. Is Israel committing war crimes? Short answer: Israel does not commit war crimes in Gaza. If you look at the actual law as well as the intent of Israel, it's very clear that Israel is actually much more humane than most countries would be in an armed conflict. And they link off to some uh, YouTube videos. Um, I, I I'm not saying I think that Israel is committing war crimes, but um. I only disagree with this answer because I think that you can't say ahead of time what's happening or not. Uh, I would say so far there has not been evidence that Israel has committed war crimes and that it is an army which conducts itself according to a high standard. But, uh, you know, you can't say that indefinitely. That will always be the case for here and evermore. But um, anyway, that is the website. And um, some of it is just kind of I would say more kind of Hasbara stuff. And I know people will say, well, this is a Hasbara video and you're doing Hasbara. You know, I think that this, it can be very black and white in this world where people just kind of are just, you know, they choose a side and they say everything the other side does is bad or let's throw as much information to make Palestinians look bad. And I don't like that manner of defending Israel because I don't think it actually serves their cause. And I think this website's a little bit like that. It's kind of you know, uh, hammering on anything that makes, but to the extent that there is debunking of BS, I think it's useful. All right, that was today's video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to get more videos from me, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a good day.